everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bonnie and this is Happy Space Creates. Thank you so much for joining me again today. If you are new here, hello and welcome as well. This is a sewing and crafting related content channel. So if that sounds like something that you are into, do click the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoy this video, do give it a little thumbs up as well. But today's video is really, really exciting because I'm going to be talking to you about some new fabrics and some new patterns that I was really lucky to win in a giveaway. So if you want to see what I have received in the post, it's a rather large box, uh, do stay tuned. So I've been really excited to share this video with you all today, but it has taken me such a long time to find the time to sit down and record this. We have been in the middle of Me Made May and that has taken my attentions away. So sadly this box has been sitting on the side. I have already opened it to take a peek, but it's getting to that time where I want to start cutting up and making my new items. And I feel like if I don't record this video now, I'm never gonna do it. So I just want to start by saying about the giveaway and what I won. So I did enter a giveaway over on Instagram and it was hosted by The Linen Lab and they were giving away a £30 or $30 gift voucher for Linen Lab, their website, and also a $30 gift voucher for Madwix Patterns. And they actually, you could choose, they were doing it in collaboration with two different pattern designers and you got to choose the voucher that you got when you won. And it was a real surprise because to be honest, I entered it really last minute. It was just one of those like and share giveaways and I received the notification in the morning and it really made my day. It was really wonderful. Now, if you haven't heard of the Linen Lab, they are based in South Korea, hence the time difference when the giveaway was announced. Now, they source the finest quality linens from all over Korea and the local areas, and then they ship nationwide. So when I received this gift voucher, I was over the moon because I was a bit overwhelmed on their website because they absolutely had so much to choose from. And I was looking through, it was really hard because linen for me, we it's quite hard to source linen unless I'm shopping online because my local fabric shop doesn't really have a wide variety. So I'm always looking at them online and just knowing that they were gonna be great quality, that, quality of the images that they were putting on, you could really see like the different textures and things that the fabric would have, which I think sometimes is quite hard to do when you're shopping for fabric online. And also a linen is quite a textured fabric, so it is really vital that you can sort of get a look at what the fabric will feel like. I hope that kind of makes sense because I feel like that makes sense in my mind. So, Let's dive in and start off with the few things that are inside my box. So like I said, I did win a $30 gift voucher. Now I actually only ordered three meters of one fabric. And so when this box arrived, I was really, really shocked to see how much fabric was inside it. So they did actually gift me a lovely selection of fabric as well. Now. Obviously the gift voucher covered the cost of the fabric, but I did have to pay around £20 for postage, obviously for it coming from Korea. And I do believe that I've seen quite a few other people posting about Linen Labs. I'm not gonna guarantee it, but I do feel like they popped a little bit extra in there to warrant the cost of the posting, to sort of like add up to the weight to make it worthwhile. So it was very, very kind of them. I'm not sure if that happens all the time or if it was just for a giveaway, but I'm really, really honored and pleasured to have so much free fabric, which is adorable and lovely. And I'm gonna open it up and show you what I got. So I will show you, I mean, it's jam packed, absolutely full. Sorry if you can hear the box making awful noise. But what I love about the way that they package their fabrics is each fabric comes with a like profile of what the fabric is. So let me just find the profile for the one that I actually ordered. Now this here is labeled as a classic monochrome 
white and black stripe linen rayon stretch um, and I just thought this was beautiful crisp it has got a very slight stretch to it I wouldn't label it as a stretchy fabric but it's got some give and I just wanted a really classic stripe I thought this would make a gorgeous jumpsuit or a shirt dress I just thought this would be really really lovely and it's not see-through in any way it's a really fantastic quality but you can't go wrong with just a classic stripe can you I just think it's really gorgeous it's got a really good weight to it it holds the body quite well so I think this will lend nicely to a lovely pair of trousers and matching shirt maybe like a little co-ord set I think would look really nice for the summer but that is actually what I ordered so that was oh, it actually doesn't say how much it was per meter I think it was around 10 pound a meter because I spent the 30 pound 30 dollar gift voucher on this three meter piece so gorgeous gorgeous quality absolutely love that I'm hoping that you can actually see it clearly on the camera but it's got like a very it says black but it's honestly like a very light grey colour really classic business but like casual really really love that so that is the first fabric that I was lucky to receive and then moving on to the next little dating profile that comes with my linen so this one here is a slightly um, more coarse textured linen I would say it doesn't feel as smooth I think probably because that one is a rayon blend it feels nice and smooth this one feels definitely like a more natural linen so this one is labeled as a linen rami cotton blend and it's a dyed chambray medium weight um, but I would actually say that that's quite a lightweight fabric not flimsy but it's, I probably wouldn't label it as a chambray, but it's a gorgeous, like, sort of biscuit colour. I don't think the camera's picking it up very well. It's like an oat, I would say. It looks a lot darker and more green on camera, but I would say it's more of like a yellow oat colour. But again, perfect for a beautiful pair of trousers, really summery, lovely trousers. And I also have the Cinnamon Daisy willow dress and I think this would be perfect for that just like a really boho-esque like frilly dress I can imagine um very like old school Taylor Swift when she was into country that's what I'm thinking um but yeah as you can see it matches my nails quite nicely actually but yes this is more of a textured feel kind of has like um a pulled kind of linen which is what you would expect from a traditional linen really um, it doesn't say how many meters of that that I have. I haven't actually unfolded it, but from looking at it, it looks to be around two meters. So I have got some more fabrics to show you. I can't believe there's still some left in the box. But first of all, I want to tell you about my patterns that I got. And then we will come back to this in a minute and I'll leave you with suspense. So the pattern company that I chose were Madwix Patterns. Now I just mentioned them a second ago, but if you haven't heard of them, they are a small pattern company run by a lovely girl called Madeline. Now what I absolutely love about her patterns is that they are very southern kind of country, like I said, boho vibe, really cottage core, which I love. And I also enjoy that she makes like the adult pattern and then she does like a mini version for the child. And I just think like matching is just too cute. Um, but yes, so they are an adult and children pattern maker. And then she also has a couple of household items like she has like a skirt, a tree skirt pattern and then a tote bag, like a foldable tote bag. So I got a £30, um, $30 gift voucher and most of her patterns are priced between eight to sixteen pounds which is quite a good variable like price range and I decided to go for the Zamora skirt and I will also insert some pictures and some styling of this but as I said this is the ultimate cottage core vibe just a tiered beautiful classic white crisp skirt 
it has these lovely little tucks on the waistband um, which gives it just a little bit of interest and detail so that's going to be a new technique for me I haven't tried it yet and I know that the Tilly and the Buttons Marnie uses tucks at the top as well so I'm very much into that kind of look so I'm excited to give that a go and I feel like this is a really cute versatile gypsy skirt and it's just such a classic and having it in your wardrobe for summer is just ideal. I've seen a lot of people make this on Instagram and they're all making it in like beautiful white shirting fabrics or broidery anglais and even some of these beautiful linens would look lovely on it as well. But I do have some fabric that I found in my house. Well, I say fabric found in my house. This is an old... Um, sheet for the bed it's never been used and quite frankly i bought it in the sale and it's just not really a color that i would put on my bed because our bedroom is blue i used to have this color in my old room and now it's blue so this is just completely redundant and so this is just a single fitted sheet that just never got used and i feel like it would be the perfect weight to make the zamora skirt i'm just and it, also having it in one sheet means that you can really build the ruffles and make it quite poofy if you want to um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to use to make the Zamora skirt. But one thing that I love about this particular pattern is that she even has a version that you don't need a printer for. So although it is a PDF pattern and traditionally you would print them off, stick them together at home and then cut it out, she basically in the pattern will give you the exact measurements of what you need to basically draw out directly onto either paper or your fabric so that you don't even need to cut a pattern, which I think is so great, it's so sustainable. And to be honest, the construction of the skirt looks particularly quite simple, so it's a really beginner-friendly pattern. So if you are new and you don't have a printer and you just wanna give something a try, and you do have an old bed sheet that you could use, um, it would be perfect for you to give it a go. So I'm really looking forward to making that. I think like this nice summery color, as you can see, I really like yellowy kind of orangey colours. I wonder if that would go together, probably. Um, but yes, really cute. I love that pattern. And that was one of the reasons why I was so excited to win the gift voucher. And then the other pattern that I decided to try, I still had a little bit of money left over on my voucher and I went for the Jordan overalls and I will again just insert a picture there for you. Now this is definitely a linen make for me. I think just a lovely pair of linen, casual, free flowing kind of dungarees are just the epitome of summer. I love that. I just imagine riding a little bike, not that I would ever ride my bike other than like around the park but I just feel like it's a really really cute vibe and I have seen one of her styling images where she's putting little frills on the straps now that is definitely something that drew me to the pattern because I think it's just so different and the overalls do have a button up strap at the back meaning that you can cross them over if you want to for a bit of detail you can have them straight or if you wanted to just omit the buttons entirely you could also just put some hardware on there and with the adjustable metal straps which i think is great and i'm sure there is instructions in there for you to do that or obviously good old youtube can help you out so with the jordan overalls i would say it is an advanced beginner just because the type of construction especially if you are going to be adding those hardware like buckles that is a little bit more advanced that's something that i've not done before so would be keen to do so it does come in 13 size ranges so it ranges from a size 81 centimeter to 141 centimeter and that's on the hips i think that realistically that is probably the measurement that applies the most because the rest of the um, garment is quite breezy and loose and obviously adjustable with the strap so do pay attention to that hip measurement and that's probably the most important one that you need because you need to be able to get it on and off Alternatively, if you do want to go for a smaller size and have them a bit more form fitting, you could put a zip onto the side, easy peasy, no problems. So going back to my linen lab delivery, um, again, some more gorgeous linen here. This one is a beige linen stretch fabric and the pattern is called Checkered Harmony. Doesn't that just sound so lovely? 
So this is in the colour beige. Now I would say that this is a more traditional check. This is much more like what you would get like suiting wise. Again, it's a lovely beige oat colour, slightly darker than the last one and feels a lot smoother in texture. This appears to be around three metres. So, I mean, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with this yet, but it would make a stunning heather blazer if you are into making sort of like a summer kind of lightweight blazer be the perfect jacket for that but yeah I just think it's stunning like I don't know what I'm going to use all this linen for yet like I said I did have a two-piece in mind for the first one when I bought that but then when all of this other fabric arrived I was like oh gosh what do I do with it um but yeah I do have a few plans now like the um cinnamon daisy willow dress but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet I think you can see the checker on there a little bit more and it's got this beautiful like sort of white running all the way through it just really lifts the color so i think i got about three meters of that one and that's called checkered harmony which is so nice and then last up is this linen circle jacquard and this again is just this lovely i've never seen a linen like this before it's kind of like a two-tone kind of linen so it's this gorgeous denim blue colour and then it has these really subtle like spots on the jacquard but then when you turn it to the side it's kind of got this like beige two-tone the camera's really not picking it up at all and this again feels very traditional like a linen it's got that lovely texture to it and this one is extremely lightweight it's very very flowy um again what you would expect from a good quality linen i really wish it would pick that two-tone up i think it's just the terrible lights in here but it kind of goes into like a beige and that kind of gives it a worn denim denim look like a worn denim like a good old pair of jeans that you've worn so much but it's a stunning stunning fabric i'm not sure what i'm going to do with this yet if you have any suggestions for what this would gr look great sewn up into i'm keen to hear your suggestions because other than a linen two-piece cord i just don't i'm just stumped i don't know what to do with them but yeah any suggestion pattern suggestions that you have please pop them in the comments down below because i'm keen to get all of these washed up ready to use I'm going to be making my Zamora skirt, but obviously I already know that I want to make it in this colour. But yeah, do let me know in the comments down below what you would use this linen for. I'm looking for some great pattern suggestions, especially something like trousers or a dress. I know I had a lot of trouser pattern recommendations recently, and I've just finished making the Ellie and Mac uh, Feel Pretty Pants in a linen. So I might make another pair which would be good because I feel like that's a really good practical part of my wardrobe but I do want this fabric is too cute it needs to be like a cutesy dress I think so yeah pop your ideas down in the comments below and do go over and check out magic patterns as well because they are gorgeous gorgeous patterns if you had made any of those already do also let me know in the comments because I'm keen to see what you've made but as always, thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And if you do want to see what I end up making out of this fabric, do click the subscribe button down below and give it a little thumbs up as well. But that is it from me today. So thank you so much for joining me and I'm going to see you really soon. Bye.